Welcome to join us on this Chengdu Chongqing Economic Circle Roundtable by Chongqing International Media Center. I'm James Alexander, your host and reporter from I Chongqing. This is Sasha from I Chongqing. Welcome to join the discussion on the development of Twin Cities in Western China. Today with us are five distinguished guests and authorities on the Chengdu Chongqing Economic Circle. Welcome our guests. And let's check out the introduction video to see how these twin cities develop together. The Chengdu Chongqing Economic Circle is located in southwestern China. The twin cities of Chongqing and Chengdu provide the driving force in the promotion of coordinated regional development. The Economic Circle was founded on January 3, 2020 as part of a national strategy. It will act as a growth pull for high-quality development in Western China and create an inland strategic high ground for opening up. Work will be done to turn the Chengdu Chongqing area into an influential economic center for scientific and technological innovation, a new high ground for reform and opening up, and the location for high-quality lifestyle. Through expansive international logistics channels, the Chengdu Chongqing area is well connected with the rest of the world. The area is at the intersection of the Belt and Road and the Yangtze River Economic Belt. Westward, there is the China-Europe Express. Eastward, the China-Europe Freight Railway continues along with the Golden Waterway of the Yangtze River. Southwards, there is the new International Land-Sea Trade Corridor to Singapore and other ASEAN countries. Northwards, there is an international train route to Russia. The development of the Chengdu Chongqing Economic Circle is a systematic project involving transport infrastructure construction, modern industrial systems, collaborative and innovative development, land space layout, ecological and environmental protection, system innovation, joint construction and sharing of public services. Sichuan and Chongqing have signed many agreements for integrated development covering areas of cultural tourism, transport, industrial development, port connections, ecology, talent pools, and judicial coordination. The first CR Express Chongqing Chengdu point-to-point -point train departs in the morning and arrives in the evening. Chongqing Chengdu and Guiyang start to operate China daily high-speed loop trains. Chongqing and Sichuan work jointly on a center for scientific and technological innovation of national influence. Co-build the Twin City Economic Circle. Cooperation between Sichuan and Chongqing is well underway. The Twin Cities of Chengdu and Chongqing form the central axis of a grand economic circle planned by the National Development and Reform Commission. And on May 22nd, when Premier Li Keqiang representing the 2020 government work report, he states that China will continue to promote large-scale development in Western region. The development of Chengdu Chongqing Economic Circle will be promoted. Priority will be given to new infrastructure and new urbanization initiatives and major projects, which not only boost the consumption and benefit the people, but also facilitate structural adjustments and enhance the sustainability of growth. As part of China's Go West policy, one aim is to focus on the expansion of domestic markets following decades of reliance on an export-orientated manufacturing base. There are many socio-political challenges in the planning and implementation, so here with us today are five experts who will share their views on the current state of development and prospects for the future. China has made a remarkable <coughs> economical achievements in the last few decades. One of the uh, major driving force is the three uh, urban and global regions. Uh, the um, Yangtze River Delta agro urban global regions, the Po uh, River Delta uh, urban agglomerations and uh, Beijing, Tianjin, and Hebei uh, ur urban agglomerations. However, these three uh, agglomer urban agglomerations uh, are located in the eastern region, uh, regions. 
uh, there's no such a uh, comparable driving force in the middle and uh, West China. Uh, if we are able to strengthen uh, the cooperation of Chengdu and the Chongqing, uh, the out uh, economic output will be further improved. Uh, so we think um, if, if the economic uh, Chengdu Chongqing economic zone uh, strategy is replaced by the uh, Chengdu Chongqing economic circuit strategy, uh, the direct economic development uh, will be more e effective. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Paolo Bazzoni. I'm the chairman of Italian Chamber of Commerce. That is the most important uh, Italian association of the industrial companies in China, around 500 companies around all the territory of China, with the offices in Beijing, Shanghai, Suzhou, Guangzhou, and uh, Chongqing. I'm also a businessman because I'm in China since uh, 13 years and I'm uh, now in the executive board member of a Bonfiglioli group that is a very important Italian uh, industrial uh, power system uh, corporation. One billion euro around the world and one billion renminbi in China based in Shanghai. And last but not least, uh, I live in Chongqing and I'm married with a Chongqing woman. So I'm very integrated in the reality of Chongqing. Uh, I go straight to the point. This uh, uh, very interesting, uh, innovative, uh, let's say, guidelines set by the President Xi Jinping, in my opinion, is a very important uh, uh, innovation forecast for the future but I think we need to be uh, sustained by the real needs of the territories in order to uh, have this kind of economic circle more fruitful in the future. As a businessman and the chairman of Italian Chamber of Commerce, I see that uh, probably the, uh, the link between the two cities and the two territory has to be driven by the needs from the uh, industrial um, investments. Okay, as you know very well, Chongqing is a heavy industry driven mm -hmm. city. We have uh, fantastic companies, Chinese, international, also Italian. We have very important Italian investment, especially in Lianjiang new area. Lianjiang new area is the partner of the chamber in Chongqing. In Chengdu, we have uh, a development of services very advanced. Okay. Mm -hmm. At the same time, there are some areas like Tianfu, okay, is uh, one of the you know uh, point of new investments. I believe that these two uh, pillars between Lianjiang areas and Tianfu in Chengdu can let be like the you know uh, scouting, uh, innovative scouting to attract more interest. Okay, for future investment, especially in the innovation and high technology. This is my view at the moment. Hi, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Um, mm, this is Vincent Deng from the Hong Kong VA Gallery. And we have uh, two galleries in Chengdu, and also we have uh, three galleries in Chongqing at the moment. For my, for, for my personal life, it's like um, uh, my mom is from Chengdu, but my uh, uh, my young, uh, uh, my young daughter is from Chongqing. It's very fun, and f I think it's like a very small and a simple case at in Chengdu and Chongqing because of Chengdu and Chongqing so close. Uh, I live in Chongqing almost ten years. I want to explain a little bit a small small sample to uh, my own opinion for how could we just move on in the Chengdu and Chongqing, and uh, almost. Uh, Ten or s ten or nine years before, if I take the train to from Chengdu to Chongqing or Chongqing to Chengdu, it takes almost four hours. And the five years before, I think it takes the train from Chengdu and Chongqing, it takes um, I think two ye two and a half hours, something like that, right? I think at this moment, our life and for all the the citizens living in Chengdu and Chongqing. It's uh, it's moved so fast, and for us, it's like I think at, at this moment, it's like our life living in Chengdu, Chongqing. Sometimes, it really, it's like a same area, but 
And this time it's like uh, as Mr. Le Pu Yongjian said, it's like about uh, it's like Chengduan Chongqing economic circle. For my own person, uh, uh, my opinion is, and how could we change the two cities' life? And uh, under this top design, it's more important. And how could we see the the the, the changes uh, when we have the top design of the Chengduan Chongqing and mm, economic circle? This is my opinion. So, uh, hello everyone. I'm very um, honored to be here. Thank you very much for the invitation. I'm going to briefly introduce myself. My name is Gianluca Luizzi, and um, as our president said, I'm a board member of the Italian Chamber of Commerce in China and also president of the Zhuang International. So, briefly introducing um, these two uh, organizations. As a Chamber of Commerce, what we try to do is to find out more uh, business opportunities for Italian and Chinese companies. Um, especially within the um, Southwest chapter, uh, which I'm the um, main representative. And with the Drug International, what we're trying to do is actually uh, promote um, food concepts and um, uh, uh, food, uh, Chinese food cuisines concepts abroad, at the same time trying to um, push up with the development of Western food concepts within China. So we, uh, I'm in the food business, and uh, actually I'm uh, quite uh, representative of the circle um, Chengdu Chongqing because uh, my family is in Chengdu and my company is in Chongqing. So uh, I've actually uh, lived between the, the two cities and I've been doing uh, this for over uh, five years. So I've actually experienced uh, the, the recent development of these two cities. And uh, going back to uh, the question, my opinion over um, this uh, economic circle, uh, Chongqing and Chengdu, I think that uh, really when we try to uh, come up with new uh, um, policies in, in terms of uh, um, government policies and of course in terms of uh, economic development we always try to find out some um, traces of uh, uh, social uh, backgrounds uh, within these policies and I think that uh, in Chengdu and Chongqing we can uh, easily see uh, a social and historical background and in the development of uh, this kind of circle uh, so of course we know that um, uh, over 2000 years ago we used to call um, this place these two territories and actually the, the wider range of uh, uh, of area um, uh, out of Chengdu and Chongqing, the Bashu uh, territory. So I think that you know um, the government is coming up with uh, this new um, initiative, but it's actually uh, something that can be traced back to a very uh, long period ago. So I think there's a very good um, um, social uh, background uh, that we can make use of. And of course, as uh, many uh, of the previous speakers have already said, uh, what we need is to find uh, points of coordination uh, between these two cities. Hello everyone, I'm Jefferson Chen and I came to Chongqing about um, three years ago and uh, before that I was living in Beijing uh, for about eight years. We did a lot of um, Hong Kong, Taiwan and Chongqing communication uh, between these three years and for our um, in this, this kind of things, uh, we find out a lot of um, different uh, chance in, in, the, in this time. And we, we saw that uh, Chongqing and Chengdu is um, in different development stage. So it's quite funny, is they, they will be a cooperation relationship and also the they are competitive relationship. So I think um, in 2020, we, s we saw that um, there is a COVID-19 and it will take slow the time for Chongqing or Chengdu to connect with the foreign cities about the business or for people is not convenient at, at the moment. So we will, we, we still trying to find the new way because you need now in Chengdu, Chongqing, I know it's a, a lot of things you can do. Um, they're trying to find out. They they get the new things from online. Uh, so we also did this kind of things. So the next stage of our discussion today are based on topical questions. So the the first question I would like us to discuss today are <coughs> whether policies are conducive enough to attracting international enterprise to the region. So from my point of view, if we talk about international enterprise in the sense that we have multinational uh, big companies, um, I think that we already have in place many uh, success stories on both sides, on Chengdu and Chongqing, on attracting these big companies and actually uh, creating the ecosystem for them, not only for survival, but actually 
uh, for development also uh, through China for uh, third party uh, countries as well. Uh, so I think on that side, um, the um, policies that we have in place now and the ecosystem is already something that we can uh, make advantage of. Um, when it comes to international company, um, in a sense of um, small, medium enterprises, and um, I'm thinking about many of the European companies that try to enter the Chinese market, I think that um, the uh, Chengdu, Chongqing economic circle uh, can definitely do better in terms of uh, uh, creating a um, ecosystem um, that is able also to um, solve uh, many of the issues that the small, medium enterprises face. Uh, when trying to enter the um, Chinese market. So I'm thinking about you know, the creation of um, um, uh, business incubators, uh, platforms that can um, be able to, especially at the initial stage, to um, take through these companies into the market and um, offer them uh, services as we do uh, with the Italian Chamber of Commerce. So uh, in terms of talent recruitment, in terms of uh, business development, I think the initial stage, you know, it's like um, you know, when you have a, a newborn baby, uh, you, you know, it's the, the first year is definitely the toughest one. It's definitely going to cry at night. You know, you want to uh, be able to, um, you know, stop the cry. So I think that um, in that sense, we can um, hope that the governments on both sides can come up with uh, some of these solutions and can really help out not only, you know, big companies to enter this market, but uh, small, medium enterprises. I think that on the other side, you know, when you um, try to do um, international uh, development, you're also looking at uh, um, the creation of an um, ecosystem in terms of uh, lifestyle. And I think that, um, you know, uh, Chengdu has, uh, has been done uh, a lot in terms of attracting um, foreign um, uh, nationals to, um, to to live in Chengdu and to develop there. Um, and I think we can see, uh, we can uh, probably going to uh, be able to see the same thing for uh, Chongqing. I would like to stress a couple of points. Uh, normally, when a corporation decides to invest abroad, Okay, uh, they have uh, in mind a clear strategy, okay, and they focus a clear market. Okay, China is a continent; it's not a, a nation. Okay, <coughs> it's a continent. We we can envisage the Southwest as a separate, se not separate, as a particular kind of market, very attractive already by itself because there are lots of demand, okay, and the evolution of the people is getting better and better. Now, for a company point of view, what are the reasons why, why I should invest in Southwest, okay? I should invest in Southwest because there are the conditions, okay, and the conditions are normally incentives or some, you know, uh, government uh, subsidizing, but this is, you can find also in the East, yeah. okay, but why you should, uh, uh, invest in the West. I should invest in the West because of the conditions supporting the development of the company are better. Okay, so in terms of ecosystems, in terms of services, in terms of education. Okay, these are very important. Chongqing, for instance, is a very advanced uh, uh, city in terms of education. We got Chongqing University, we got the Sisu, okay, in Chengdu as well. I believe if the, this uh, circle can stress, uh, I mean stress, improve, okay, this uh, education system and innovation services, this will be an advanced push to attract more investment. Last but not least uh, are the uh, conditions for the normal people, okay, uh, to, to live in a more, let's say, uh, sustainable way. Okay, this is very important. Everybody, Chinese and, and foreigners, are the same. Okay, we want a, a, a quality of life, and the quality of life, I think, is uh, is something that, when you work in a company, you search, and I think uh, this uh, quality of life is getting better and better in this area. But this one of the key points, in my opinion, for the future. Okay, mm -hmm. thank, you. thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Vincent Dunn? Yes, I think it's like it's very good point from the, uh, Paolo. It's like first is for the individual citizens. As you said, it's like uh, I think most of us who is living in this area, no matter the citizen or the maybe foreigners living in Chengdu or Chongqing, they need the quality life. I think what is quality life? You should have the good source to find a good restaurant. If in Chengdu and Chongqing we have a plan for, you can easy to search 
a restaurant in Chengdu and both Chongqing, and you know, you take a train only take you know one and a half hour. I think it's make everything possible in one day trip. And uh, this and for the individual citizens like like me, also the focus on the hospital. But at the, this moment in Chengdu and Chongqing, I think uh, I only have one choice: is Raphael's Hospital. It's one really international hospital, and you really, I think they can take care of you and all your families. But if now they only focus on Chongqing, but in one day, you s we can easily make any you know choice, and then to promote it under the Chengdu Chongqing and an economic circle because mm -hmm. of easily to reach the people who live in Chengdu, like foreigners or the who uh, uh, and then the people who want the high quality life. Of course, as uh, Mr. Zhang Luca said, it's like, uh, and as a chamber, they were maybe they have the office in in Chongqing for almost three or five years, right? But maybe I think in future soon, I think the Chengdu government will ask you to open another office in Chengdu. You know why? Because if you want to take some, you want to go and uh, take some easy or simple things, it's no need to travel to Chongqing. But before, it's like it's a. Uh, uh, we should uh, like we should uh, take a train and uh, go to Chengdu, uh, from Chengdu to Chongqing to apply a visa, like in between one day, and uh, then the Italian consulate. You can easy to make the and uh, the finger point uh, print in Chen Chengdu, and then other consulate can o o open the you know visa uh, office in Chongqing. I think this is a good point to how could uh, help the individual citizen to save time, and uh, also the give us the most important, uh, the quality life. Like if we can share some information between, uh, between these this two cities, a good quality, and it's like, how to say, it's like a music ex a exhibition, and also movie, those kind of information we can share together. And like we can track more, more people and uh, who live in Chengdu and uh, travel to Chongqing. I think this is a good, uh, and uh, a good point of the Chengdu and Chongqing economic uh, circle. The circle it means we can easily to travel in this area. Of course, as other point is like for company side, it's like uh, we are we. Uh, I think before we go to this room and we we discuss about that, it's like uh, the before the, the the Chengdu and Chongqing and um, economic circle. And between Chengdu and Chongqing is competition more than cooperation. To be honest, you know, this is uh, really like uh, they always want to fight for like uh, the top four cities, right? Sometimes it's Chengdu, the other, maybe the other report is Chongqing. But now it's like if Chengdu and Chongqing together, it means we can more easily to win this kind of competition between Chengdu, uh, between the cities in Chengdu and Chongqing, in the, and we can have very good, you know, and uh, bargain with uh, Shanghai, Beijing, and uh, Guangzhou, these areas. So like uh, I, I and, and, and I just say it's like Paolo and uh, Zhangluka, they are a the good sample. It's like, you know, I think it's the first time it's like uh, any national chamber, they, their president is coming from the Southwest. And also, they have two board members in, uh, in, in, in Southwest. This is really good point. It's like it means, you know, it's not only the, 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 uh, the, 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 the uh, China central government, but also the foreign companies. They, okay, they notice the Southwest. And uh, even though we spent al almost 20 years trying to promote the Southwest, but now, today, more and more foreign companies, because of uh, um, behind the chamber is of more and more foreign companies. If they focus on Southwest, it means really we move fast. Someone really tr trying to go to the Southwest and uh, invest money. This is my personal opinion. Thank you very much. And finally, Jefferson Chen, would you like to add to Vincent Deng's statement? Okay, sure. Um, in my opinion, it's like um, uh, we can we can see a lot of potential and um, marketplace, so it's attracting the uh, uh, foreign people, and also uh, because uh, mostly the people we attach is doing the business, and they came to Chongqing or Chengdu. The first thing they will care about is mar market, uh, market um, potential, and uh, market space, and um, and they will see the much more difference. 
in Chongqing because there's a lot of blank space and you can build up. And also the people government here is very welcome for the foreign business or foreign people. So we feel very uh, comfortable to to uh, do the business here or live in here. And because I, I, I would say um, I was here for about three years and we can see a lot of um, it's building very fast uh, from these three years. You can see <coughs> a lot of changes. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, I think Vincent just addressed the topic too <coughs> a, a lot. And I just want to invite Paula to share your vision as a as an expert in Chongqing, how does the uh, Chengdu Chongqing Economic Circle, why why individual or why experts like uh, pay attention to this policy? Mm. What's your vision? Mm. Well, first of all, I don't consider myself an expert <laughs> 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 because <laughs> I'm not expert. I'm living here mm -hmm. since 13 years in China. I'm integrated. I'm married with a Chinese woman, so I'm half Chinese, half Italian. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the concept of expat is a concept of uh, to living in a kind of bubble, you know? Mm -hmm. yes. uh, we are not living in a bubble, we are living in the, in the society, okay? Mm -hmm. Integrating, working together with uh, international or local people, okay? Mm -hmm. This is the concept, very important. And uh, more and more the, the society is getting services and the conditions for Chinese and international people, mm -hmm. more and more the societies is grow up. And the more the societies grow up, more is, is getting more and more attracting for investments. It's very simple. It's very simple. Uh, I think the two cities are some different kind of peculiarities at the moment, okay, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Chengdu probably developed a little bit earlier, okay, and they have a kind of uh, sense of um, appeal, you know, for kind of services, cultural, this kind of thing. Chongqing developed first uh, the, an industrial heavy industry, but now it's getting more and more close to these services. So uh, probably is the right time to, to, to get more uh, synergies about the two companies. Maintaining the, the difference, the differentiations, because I don't think we'll be ever a one big company, mm -hmm. about a one big city, you mm -hmm. know. But maintaining the two peculiarities growing together, this will be more easy for the people investing, living, and finding the right mm -hmm. conditions. This is my, mm -hmm. my point of view. Okay. So, um, how about Luca? Yeah, I think that, uh, President Bazzoni uh, already expressed mm -hmm. um, the, the same opinion as the one they have, but um, if I want to add up something, maybe it's mm -hmm. uh, related to the fact that uh, Chengdu and Chongqing, as uh, uh, Mr. Bazzoni said, will keep um, competing uh, in a sense. Mm -hmm. And I think that when we look at competition from a company level, we often see competition as a tool, as a, as a, as a mean for um, improving quality. Uh, so I think, you know, uh, the, f the only fact that um, Chengdu and Chongqing will still be competing somehow uh, makes us believe that, you know, the quality uh, within the circle, uh, quality of life, quality of services, quality of business will definitely improve, you know, mm -hmm. because there will be um, governments, there will be uh, people, there will be companies um, really um, pushing hard uh, to make this quality improve. So I think that on this level, um, for many of the foreign companies and individuals as well, uh, being in such a dynamic and um, energetic environment can be a very good choice for um, a personal uh, life development or a professional development. Yeah, I talk a lot about that. <laughs> this, you know, <laughs> this <laughs> works. <laughs> but if I want to add the other stories, like La Chandio, is uh, as everyone knows, it's uh, food and you know, food and the good food, good wine, mm -hmm. is ha have around the same hundred years you know, history is like an international association. Before we set up a Southwest provincial, um, you know, it's like a, um, a branch is in, but based in Chongqing. Mm -hmm. But after a few years, and uh, because it's so difficult to manage, because, you know, it's like, uh, I knew, and at most of board members did travel to, you know, Chengdu every one week. So uh, after that, we separate. It's the order by the, 
it's our you know uh, national bayash. So we separate uh, Chen, Chongqing bayash and then Chengdu bayash. But this is, uh, I think, this very bad choice. At this moment, you really we should focus and we share the sources together, because our ban our benefit for our Xi'an members is like we can use our Xi'an card to have very good you know it's like we can go to our Xi'an members restaurant to have good, they will take care of you. I think in future I think, and if under the Chengdu and Chongqing economic circle, if really we can both you know both city can improve the service and also in in this kind of normal life and also the education. How could we share mm. the sources together under the Chengdu and Chongqing and, and economic circle? I think it's a very good point in future and uh, to, to, to serve the individual citizens and who live in these two cities. Mm. They can share the two, the two benefits from, uh, in one city. That should be a good point in future. Thank you very much. Okay, so the final topic of discussion I would like to ask today are what are the main challenges currently facing the Economic Circle project now in 2020? Since the second quarter, the economy is ramping up, okay? As experienced from Italian companies, all the Italian companies localized in China, 90% are now working perfectly, okay? Actually, in some cases, better than last year. Mm -hmm. Okay, what does it mean? It means that all the measures that the central government put in place to sustain uh, the economy are working so far. Plus, the internal demand is alive, okay? especially for construction and especially for uh, renewable energy. Okay. <coughs> so even if the GDP overall on the year maybe will be less than expected, but in reality, the economy is alive. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, it's important to create in the different territories the condition to incentivate the companies. Okay. Because the market is there, but the company are to be incentivated. I'm not talking about subsidizing. Eh? I'm talking about uh, services. Eh? I'm talking about a condition to attract more talents. Mm -hmm. eh? Uh, people in, in the company because the turnover is getting more and more uh, strong. Uh, at the same time, uh, and I want to mention this, as the Chamber of Commerce in this particular period, we are also very active in interacting with uh, our companies in China and in Italy, mm, attracting all the interest, especially from mechanical point of view. You know that Italian mechanic, uh, small and medium enterprises are at the top in the world, eh? mm -hmm. competing with Germany, let's <laughs> say, okay? Uh, and uh, we are definitely pushing this kind of uh, activities. Uh, even if you don't, you cannot, uh, you know, have exhibition, physical exhibition, but we can have a virtual exhibition, mm -hmm. virtual uh, factory tour in order to promote B2Bs be between Chinese companies and Italian companies. Mm -hmm. This is the, our focus for the rest, for the second part of the year. And uh, we will come also to Chongqing with these initiatives mm -hmm. because we are in mind to have a kind of roadshow around China. And this is, we, we think we can incentivate and promote more the attraction of investment in the Southwest. Thank you. Thank you very much. Would another guest like to add to that statement? You first. <laughs> <laughs> I think that in terms of um, challenges that we're facing, um, that the, um, the circle, the economic circle is facing, we can, uh, you know, divide these challenges into two categories, um, sort of, you know, communicational challenges. And, um, you know, with communication, I mean, coming up with a clear message on how, you know, um, we're trying to promote this economic circle. So what kind of sectors we're trying to uh, promote, what kind of, um, you know, um, possibilities we're trying to, opportunities for uh, foreign companies we're trying to promote. And when we talk about, um, you know, communication, um, it has to be a, a two-level com uh, communication. So it has to be um, a communication um, that has to uh, be towards the international community, but also communication that has to 
uh, go towards the domestic community. Because when we talk about economic circle, it's very interesting for foreign companies, but I think it will also be um, a tool for development also at the domestic level. So I think that, you know, um, communication wise, we're definitely uh, looking forward, you know, having uh, a clearer uh, picture of, uh, you know, what the project will look like and uh, what are going to be the sectors of interest of uh, this project. So um, that is uh, one of the two categories. And on the other uh, side, I think the uh, problems that we're facing are in terms of uh, structure, so structural problems. So uh, there is, in a sense, that, you know, what are these, these two cities uh, going to do with their industrial policies? So what are the industrial sectors that are going to be promoted at Chongqing level? What are the sectors that are going to be uh, promoted at Chengdu level? And I think that, um, you know, when we talk about uh, industrial policies, we're definitely talking about um, incentives also, and going back to what President Bazuna said. So, you know, what are the uh, tools that are going to be used by the government and by the um, also local uh, Chamber of Commerce uh, to attract businesses towards uh, those kind of sectors? So. Um, these are the two main problems, and I think the um, you know uh, COVID nineteen is already uh, probably uh, you know we've gone through the the worst of it. So definitely you know whatever will come is going to be uh, helping out the, uh, uh, the the companies to uh, get out of this crisis. So uh, yeah, these are the two problems that I think we're facing. As today we are sitting sitting here and then discussing this program, it means and. Uh, the, the local governments always like is the you know the media they are trying to do the promotion like we are just asking some of my you know foreign friends most of them they, they know nothing about the Chengdu Chongqing economic uh, circle they only know this is a sentence from the Mr. Xi it means we need to really take his like uh, slowly slowly to tell everyone what is our whole picture which is many project it takes time. It's not only a one discussion can solve the, all the problems. We need like in everywhere. It's like in, it's in. We, we should find a different way to promote and then let everyone understand the Chengdu and Chongqing and uh, economic circle. The of course, I think if if in future we can publish the Chengdu Chongqing live like a magazine or it's like a, a food guide, also it's a good idea, then uh, this is much more easier way to let the people who live in there to understand, you know, Chengdu and Chongqing, really we are trying to cooperate together. This is, a, this is a two, I think the two point at this moment, we should, uh, fo we should uh, fo focus and face to the, the main challenge, uh, 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 challenge for that. So on January this year, President Xi just called for the enlarging the effects of Chongqing and Chengdu as central cities and building the Chengdu Chongqing city cluster into an important economy center, a science and technology innovation <coughs> center, a new hotspot for reform and opening up, and a high quality livable place. I think in today's discussion, we have addressed this topic from different angles and exchanged our ideas. Before we leave, I'd like to express our deep gratitude to our distinguished guests for their invaluable, invaluable contributions today. So thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. You. thank, thank, you. thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please continue to follow our coverage on the Chengdu Chongqing Economic Circle, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Goodbye. Goodbye.